I'm here. There we go. There we go, Xavier. Hi, mate. How are you? Not too bad. You look like you're in the middle of midnight, which it probably is. <laughs> oh, actually, the what? sun just went down here. Ah, ah, ah. Well, thank uh, you very yeah, much. You're welcome. And um, yeah, uh, soon to be welcoming you back to our sunny shores. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> it has. It has. Um, I think somewhere around eight or ten years. Incredible. And a lot has happened in that time. A lot of water under the bridge, as they say. But yeah, hey. um, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, new new record label, new life, new wife, new pretty much everything, right? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> and Kelly, all good. Uh, you're in a good space? Yeah, yeah, I'm in a good space, man. Absolutely. I'm, um, yeah, I feel very blessed. Um, I've got five boys that are very healthy and thriving and yeah beautiful wife and a couple of uh rat bag dogs and um yeah a good life i'm very um grateful for the for the life that i have mm, and uh all of those are fertile spaces for inspiration when it comes to doing what you do for money which is uh entertain the world with uh with your music but i was i was wondering because obviously you know it's been it's been what 22 24 years um in at, you know professionally I, I suppose but you know i think for most people it's 20 20 odd years um <clears throat> would would you agree with the fact that your music gives you the ability to affect change and i suppose what i mean by change is not just pure entertainment value but being able to push the needle in ways that perhaps another occupation wouldn't allow um yeah look i guess so um it's it, you know people people say that and people uh when when people come to me and say that the, you know they've used my music in in very special times in their journey like burying a child or or you know getting married or giving birth or, you know, special times when um, in people's lives, whether they're, you know, hard times or, or great times where my music is used, then I feel like that is the biggest compliment that I can receive. Um, and I feel, I feel honored and I feel grateful. Um, you know, and people sort of in those kind of moments will, will say things like, Oh, you got me through this or whatever. It's hard for me to accept that. You know, I think, obviously um people do their own work and and i just feel happy that i can be um there it's in in some element for people um and and that said on a broader note um my music can be used or, or um, awareness can be spread for um in in different ways uh for change for a better world um, which mm. is, you know, various different things that people are working on. Um, so, look, I, I feel honoured that my music can sometimes be part of that space. And um, But I wouldn't say that, you know, I, I can change anything. I think, um, I think that's a big call. I think I just do what mm. I do and, and I, I feel grateful where it, where it can, where, where, you know, what I do can shine any kind of light um mm -hmm. because life's tough it's not easy um mm -hmm. for, for people um yeah and I, I suppose it's the authenticity that 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 your music brings that i think endears you to people um besides obviously the melody the music the you know the structure of it um because there are multiple layers uh personal ones to you interpreted by fans i mean i think that's that's the joy of music. Um, you know, we're all listening to the same same song, but how we interpret it, how it affects us, um, is completely unique to each and every one of us. And I think that's the power of of great songwriting and 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 great music. Yeah, and we all come from struggle. You know, all of our ancestors, no matter where we come from, all over this planet, 
um, our, our people got knocked off the tracks at some point. And yeah. we're all, we're, we all take that with us and we're all healing from, from, um, from different stuff, you know, um, life's not easy and it, it's, it, it hasn't been easy for me a lot of, a lot of times. Mm. Um, and you know, we, we walk around with, with a sense of pride and, and, you know, and we, we try and be what we can be, but, you know, we we all have our battles. And I think my music is, you know, it's always been, um, an honest forum. It's yeah. not, there's, there's no bullshit. It's, it's, it's kind of, um, whether it's, it's touching on something to do with me or touching on something to do with someone else. Um, mm. it's honest and it's direct and, uh, you know, I'm not doing it for the sake of, of who's hearing it and getting it on the radio or any of that stuff. I'm doing it, um, as, as, as a way to document reality and as a way to, um, try and give thanks for the good times and to um to re and and to remind myself and other people that um that there is light and and wisdom at the end of hard lessons mm -hmm. and that um if we if we can get behind each other and support each other then um then then often the answers will come eventually yeah. it's kind of it comes yeah. from that kind of place you know yeah. So I think that's yeah. maybe why people sort of, you know, resonate with it because it's because everybody can relate to it. Yes, it's entirely relatable. And I, I mean, to that end, obviously, over your career to date, you know, you've dabbled with different styles of music in order to, I suppose, to best land, um, you know, your your lyric and your, your intention. Um, where would you say you've kind of landed up? You know, if you had to define road tripping, for example, um, yeah, as a, how would you define your sound? I suppose in twenty twenty three, going into twenty twenty four, I think it's the same as it always was. It's it's a bit of everything. Like I don't really, I don't really stick to any kind of um, formula. formula. Like <laughs> I mean, road tripping to me was kind of like a country song. You know, it yes. was like a, a song that I wrote. I wasn't even going to release it. I wrote it five, six years ago on a road trip and it was literally about that trip. And it was, mm. um, and my wife last year said to me, you should record that road trip and song. And I was like, ah, nah, it's just mm. like, it's just a personal kind of thing. And she was like, no, you should do it. And then we were in the studio one day and I bashed it out and the kids were in there and stuff. And it kind of ended up being kind of fun. And, uh, and it is what it is. But I mean, you know, the last song that I recorded was kind of like a, um, high times was was like a um a multi instrumentalist version of of kind of a reggae tune, um mm. like where where I played everything and and I I built that song so that I could do it all live, um and um I got some more stuff coming out that's like one song's kind of like a dance song like I don't know man there's no <laughs> like um there's no yeah, there's no really any kind of rules that I follow. I just kind of do whatever, you know. Yeah, um, it seems. I don't it really. Seems, I, I don't. I don't really yeah. plan anything. I've never. I've never been someone who plans things. Really, I just kind of let it flow, and whatever happens, happens. Yeah, it's it. It sounds to me like it's uh, the basis for for each song is a mood. Um, I suppose. Yeah, it is actually. I mean, you know, some. You know, it'll be. Sometimes it'll be like come from an emotional experience and depending on that emotion or that mood um i'll shape the music accordingly um and or, or you know sometimes it'll be you know a spirit you know I, I don't i don't know how to explain it but there's certain music where i feel like it's coming from another place um yeah. you know sometimes i think it might be my great grandmother um, her spirit or something coming through me, but I can sort of define these days when that's happening, and and in that sense, I'll just channel try and completely remove myself from mm. it, and and just let it be what it is, and and I actually don't think too much about those things; they just sort of happen, and and they and they shape themselves. So 
yeah, it, it really isn't something that I ever planned. But I, that said, I've never sat down and tried to write a song. I, I don't work that way. It just when they come, they come, and they they come when I'm doing random things. And then you know, eventually, I used to have a dictaphone. Now I just sing it into my phone, and I'll you know I'll have ideas like that, and then eventually I'll build it into something. But I don't mm. plan it. Really. You're a vessel, as they say. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> man. I wish I could turn it off, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. It's, there's no. uh, yeah, there, there is no contract um, for that. But um... no, I see all my kids and my wife. They get the shits with me because because they're like, yeah, a lot of the time they're talking to me, and and I'll be like completely miss what they said because i'm thinking of something else in my head i got slumped some song in my head so i feel kind of like a little bit autistic or something which is um probably <laughs> difficult for people who are living with me <laughs> <laughs> so let's um let's move on to what you intend uh bringing to south africa you know as you say it's been it's been nearly a decade um there's a raft of work that uh has happened between now and then and obviously your experience when you were here last I think will be um I wouldn't say vastly different but um you know over that time your fan base here has grown to love you more and more um is there an element of kind of curiosity or excitement as to what you're going to experience this time around yeah yeah I'm excited to come I mean it's one of those places that that you know, if you get there once or twice in your career, then um, wow, because it's out of the way. It's logistically difficult to get to. Um, yeah. And, and you know, this is the third time now that I'm coming. Um, I I don't see it as as your standard, like, touring circuit. It's, it's, um, it's very special. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah I, it's, it's a very special, powerful place. Um, I'm in awe of of the history of the of the cultures of the the time and the and the um, and the the place that it is now. You know, I learned a lot of that through um, traveling with Tion Andale, um, who I made a record with, and um, and so. I feel like South African culture kind of, if you've had it being exposed to it sort of gets into your bones a bit. So for me, I feel very, you know, it's like going to a, it's like going to a sacred place here in Australia. It's, it's the same kind of thing. It's, it's, mm. there's an anticipation. So from a spiritual point of view, I mm. will make sure I'm clean and ready and pure and mm. I'll deliver the best um, thing that I can possibly deliver in terms of honoring my ancestors here and and that spiritual connection and from a social and um i guess um you know show point of view um yeah i'm excited to see people again and to you know the tickets are selling really well and um it feels like um people are excited to see the show so um i'm just pumped to come over there and share Mm. And you're playing, you're playing in some extraordinary places. I mean, Kirstenbosch is just um, one of the most special venues uh, to, to perform at. Um, and I yeah, think, it's magic. Yeah. 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 So I think uh, it's well suited to what you do. But uh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, we look forward to it. And I think, you know, clearly with the number of live albums that you have released, you know, so far, is that uh, your music really does come to life. Yeah, in a in a in a live space. So I, I, I think uh, the fans here are looking forward to, as you said, the the positive, you know, the positive energy and the, yeah, just the, um, you know, all that you bring. So um, yeah, I mean, that. I'm a live artist. I always was. Um, mm. The the recording side of of what I do is is secondary, really, I guess. And so um, I, I feel like. The live forum is kind of where, um, where uh, you get the full experience. Because for me, it, the shows feel like more like a, a ceremony. You know, like um, it doesn't feel like me entertaining everyone. It feels like okay, I'm channeling the sound, 
but everyone's involved. Um, yeah. So er everyone's bringing their experience, their culture, their struggles, their, you know, the, the different things that they want to let go of. And, and there's a real sense of, of an energy, like an, a circular kind of energy of, of, um, yeah. of, respect and one people and you know i have great people come to my shows all around the world like really good humans and um and and, and in a lot of ways they create the vibe so i'm yeah. just kind of there as part of it so i'm excited for that yeah and i think it's it, it's so needed uh certainly at this time in history um you know, um, and I think more and more uh, so. So I think uh, yes, it's a it's a heady responsibility. Although, as you say, it's a it's it's a collaboration more than a performance. Um, but yeah, um, we look forward to it, and I thank you, um, and uh, wish you a, a good festive season in between with the families and friends and all of that good stuff. Um, and yeah, hopefully I get to shake your hand come February. But thank you for your time. Yeah, come see. Come say hi. Where are you going to be? What? What? Um, I'll be in Cape Town. I'll be in Cape Town. Okay, literally. sweet. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come say hi. It'd be nice to say hi. Likewise. Yeah. Thank you, Xavier. Right. Have a good, good, good Christmas. Good on you, brother. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks, Anel. Cheers.